Well, in front of the YouTubes, it is uh, it is do hard. And welcome to God fucking damn it, I made that up off center. Anyway, uh, it is I do hard. I'm back very briefly because we haven't uh, done anything in a little bit, and I just want to quickly uh, put something out on the channel. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna blind look at a game called Perfect Date, which uh, Kit got me, and I uh, I figured why the fuck not? It seems like something that would be fun to. <laughs> Do a blind look at because I have a plan to do something with a different uh, game in a similar style uh, later, and this is might as well use this as an opportunity to kind of try try out doing this. I guess. Oh boy! Wow, this is oh, fuck. That background is awful. I not the background thing. I tried to. There's a lot of shitty empty space, so I was trying to put this fucking cat background thing in the background, and it literally, it just looks awful. It, it just looks the worst. So, you know what? Now, now this is happening. Goodbye. Goodbye, face. So long, and, 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 bon voyage. Okay, anyway, so, kitten, <laughs> that's our perfect date. It's a cat dating simulator. That's, um, that is literally the beginning and end of what I know about it, so, um, hopefully this isn't a total cluster mess. Uh, turn on the master volume a little bit, because I think it's a bit loud right now, but, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's do it to it. Let's go, let's go straight into this thing. Alright, no, uh, no progress, zero 18 endings found, zero secrets found. 0% of the total game scene, so you know I uh, you know I ain't kitten about not having played this before uh, kill me okay yeah, it's um, new game sorry, my microphone made it impossible to see the uh, thing there, okay um oh boy let's um uh Oh boy, I have to... You. Oh, I, I like you. So we're gonna call you... I'm gonna call you Duhod. That's a stupid name, but, uh... Feels appropriate. I'll save notification. This game uh, supports an offset feature. Please don't turn off your game while it is saving. I'm an angel, and I accept I'm a devil in <laughs> chat. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll accept that. That seems, that seems fair. Imagine if I said reject, it would like, I don't know, turn off the program or something. Or maybe just be snarky. I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. I'm not feeling too well now, so it's a huge relief to hear the deck lad shout. I'm so sorry, my tongue hurts real bad, so talking is incredibly painful. <laughs> so forgive me if I end up being a little bit weird sounding in this, uh, in this, in this impromptu blind recording. Hey. Island approaching! Make yourselves ready! I'm finally here. When I uh, applied last month, I was just another broke student living off a uh, off baked beans and didn't re uh, really think I had a chance of being accepted to part of the prestigious Cat Island research team. Holy shit. Holy shit, they're stealing, they're stealing my stupid ga <laughs> dating game script already. No! Oh no! Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the how to uh, play options earlier. I, I I tried recording this very briefly before, and it kind of messed up. Uh, didn't actually play any of the game. I just looked around the settings. But uh, it said there, that if you were feeling spicy, you could hit the heart instead of uh, anywhere else to uh, progress the game. So let's see what happens if I do that. It doesn't seem to have done anything. Okay. Yet here it is, the little black dot in the distance, going bigger by the second. It is the infamous Cat Island, the place I will call home for the next few months. My heart momentarily skips a beat. What if there's been a mistake? What if they accept someone else's application I accidentally set off, uh, sent the offer to me? What if they accepted someone... Yeah. Uh, I rummage about in my bag until I find the papers. DPIRI. DP... Corporation. 
Dear Duhan, we are pleased to be able to offer you the, prof- the position of research assistant to Professor Pr- Popper at our research facility on Cat Island. This position will be for an initial period of eight weeks. Your contract will be sent separately. We look forward to working with you. Yours sincerely, Professor Popper, PhD, BSc, Hans, DPG. No, no mistake. That's my name. Right there in the top left-hand corner. Duhod. That's, uh, there's his name at the bottom, the genius behind the whole, this whole operation. Professor Popper, science genius, and my new boss. I look up from my papers to see a dry land rapid to see dry land rapidly approaching before us. It seems to be surrounded by a huge barrier of impenetrable black rock. No, it's serious. They got a stats thing. Romance research retcon recon. Fuck God. Anyway, and also hearts. As we get closer, we're not uh, slowing down, and I begin to worry that we're going to crash into them. Then, at the very last moment, we take a sharp turn to the left, and suddenly we're sailing smoothly towards a jutting... Uh, and, jet- and jetting through an opening in the rocks. I am so sorry. Part of it's dyslexia, but part of it's also just this fucking pain. It is, it is actually making it really hard to focus. Anyway, <clears throat> I blow out uh, the breath that I've been holding and break into a smile. Nicely done, Skipper! The ferryman comes out from behind the steering wheel, ignoring my attempts at camaraderie, and shouts rather brusquely. Take all your belongings. We don't. Uh, we won't be back for days, so don't leave nothing you'll need. Thank you. I smile weakly at the ferryman and his son, and pick up my bags ready to disembark. We glide seamlessly up to the wooden jetty, and the son leaps ashore to tie us off. He's greeted by a bulky man in a uniform, who I take to be the secret, the security officer, to be a security officer of some kind. Oi, 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 boy. Joe! Sir? Got you a mouse. No, it's the, um, it's the, no, it's... Bob is the boatman, is the boatman... Joe is the son, I think. Okay. And then he laughs loudly, as though he said the funniest thing he's ever heard. It's very disconcerting. The security guard remains surly and turns his attention to me. That is, that is a face of pure surliness. <laughs> Let's be having you then. Zane Jones. That's a, that's a great name. He holds out his large hand, which I assume is an offer to help me off the boat, but as I reach out to take it, he snatches it away, throwing me off balance so that I almost fall over the side. What a great start! Me and you both, buddy. Me and you both. ID card? Oh, uh, I see, of course. I reach into my back pocket and hand over the laminated card I was given on the mainland. Okay, data shoot one one seventeen. Oh man, I had this this fucking I've been having C for uh, for a full year now. Apparently, just over. No wait, no fuck, it's twenty nineteen. Oh my god, I've been C for two goddamn years. Oh my god. Time sure does fly, eh? He barely looks at it before st- uh, starting off, grunting over his shoulder. This way. I follow him down a dirt track path and get my first proper view of the island. It's beautiful, lush, and green. I'm already under its spell. After no more than a couple of minutes trekking, we're in the base camp, which consists of an assortment of tents and huts. Among them are two more solid-looking structures, one larger and one smaller. I presume these are the labs. The whole camp is modest, but functional. Sorry, moderate, but functional. Uh, It reminds me of an army outpost. I'm struck by the lack of people. In fact, 
There's no one around apart from an older woman sitting, sitting outside peeling a pile of potatoes. I smile and give her a little nod, but she stares back at me. She just stares back at me. Mrs. Marigold! Hey, it's Trish. I try not to get paranoid. Too late. I'm always paranoid. Here! Yes, yeah, right here. He stops at the larger's the large of the tents, indicating that I should go inside. I just... I just... I feel rude just walking in, so I make my presence known first. <clears throat> uh, hello? A firm but friendly voice calls out. Come! I walk in and there he is, hunched over some documents. The great Professor Popper. I was genuinely half expecting him to, do that, to just be a cat. I'm gonna be honest. Sir, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, yes. You must be Duhard. Come on in, my dear. Glad to have you on board. Good journey. Well, long. Yes, indeed. We're rather tucked away here. Let me offer you some refreshments. Water, coffee, something stronger, perhaps? Whiskey? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Just some water if you have some. I would be rude to let you drink whiskey on your own. I love a cup of tea if there's a pod going on. All right. If I'm going to play this as myself, then I am absolutely going to be asking for that tea. I'd love a cup of tea if there's a pod on uh, the go. Ugh, I can tell you're new. Tea here tastes like cat piddle. You really don't want to drink it. He pours me a cup of coffee from his canteen and said... It's a good thing I like coffee. Yeah, that's right. You can't, you can't see me. I'm giving a big old thumbs up because this game knows me. This game gets me. It will take you a while to find your way around and discover how it all works. So for today, I thought I would just get you uh, kitted out and maybe introduce you to some of the locals. The cats, that is. I believe you've already most of, met most of the human locals. Oh, I've... Only met the ferryman and the security guard who brought me here. Yes, that's about it. And the lady outside? Ah, Miss Marigold. Mrs. Marigold. Her and her husband are the caretakers. Wonderful couple, the Marigolds. You met them before too lo You'll meet them before too long. We're a tidy little family. We're a tidy little family here, too hard. And I'm sure you'll fit in nicely. Thank you, sir. I hope so. Okay, so, first things first, this is your basic kit. He begins going through a pile of things on his desk, explaining each of them in turn. This is your backpack. You can put everything in it. We'll be going on plenty of field trips, so I'll be very useful. As will your own water bottle. Some disinfectant hand spray. Ah! These are heavy-duty reinforced gloves, which are essential when tagging cats out in the wild. Don't want any scratches from felines we don't know, now do we? I suppose not. I shove each uh, uh, item into my new backpack as he gives them to me. Likewise, these goggles will to be brought along on all field trips. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. He indicates a small pile of what looks like laundry. There's a basic uniform, lab coat, mask, stethoscope, le electro... 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 Okay, I'm gonna move on. Portable first aid kit, camping knife, with all the tools attachments. Finally, and without doubt, most importantly... This! He holds up something that looks a lot like a mobile phone, except it clearly isn't one. This is your catalog! Ha <laughs> ha! Puns! Catalog? Yes, the name comes from the earliest, ver the earliest version. Uh, it was initially designed to record and sort data on the cats, scan them, log their details, but, you see, but as you see, we've come a long way since then. 
Now you can use it to communicate with the rest of our team. I've added everyone's contact details for you. Listen to music, take photos. There's even a pen that comes with it to insert microchips into the backs of the cat's nicks so you can keep track of them. It's a, it is a very vul- valuable piece of equipment, do hard, and I need you to provide to protect it above all less. Do you understand? He's looking me directly in the eyes, clearly expecting a response. Uh, y- yes, sir, of course. Of course. Of course. Cares. Of course. I'll look after it. Good! You'll get to know all of the functions as you go along, but for now I suggest we take a stroll out and see if we can't find a few friends to introduce you to, so you can try it out. He hands me the gadget. I feel a bit nervous taking charge of it, but also really keen to have a go. We head down to the beach, the professor explaining things as we go. The measure of terrain on Cat Island is quite unique, even in such a relatively small area. You find forests, mountains, jungles, beaches, woodland, all of these different geological and ecological zones in one place. It really is most remarkable. It certainly is. Even like wildlife is, in itself, quite remarkable. What do you mean, professor? Well, put simply, there is a type of forest field that surrounds the island, just allowing anything to enter. You mean literally anything? Absolutely, no birds, fish, or creatures of any kind can penetrate it. Uh, Forgive my lack of intelligence on the subject, but, uh, we're here. The professor lets out a disconcertingly loud laugh. Ah, I see what you mean! Well, there is, of course, one small break in the invisible wall that is where we uh, built the jetty. But let's not get too bogged down in all the ri- in all this right now. What do you uh, what you do need to know is that basically the island is shaped like a peanut. He has picked up a nearby st- uh, stick and draws a simple map on the sand. This is our end of the island. It's very well known to us uh, now. We've been researching here for many years. The other end is not so familiar to us. We've encountered difficulties that have hindered our progress in the region. Oh, that, what the fuck was that? What type of uh, difficulties, Professor? Well, we're not as sure as we'd like to be, but what I can tell you is that the environment has an adverse effect upon the humans introducing nausea, inducing nausea at the very least. And at the worst? Fainting, migraines, possible nerve damage. Gosh, that is serious. As I say, it's best to keep away, but let's not go into all that now, my dear. We've had a, you've had a long day for now. Let's just say that we that we refer to uh, the far end of the island as the danger zone, with good reason. Um, I must ask that you uh, do not that you not. Um, I must ask you not to put yourself at risk by venturing beyond this mountain range here. He refers to the map once more, drawing a line just past the the center, and an X through the end section. There are wild, aggressive cats out there, I wouldn't want you getting too close to them. Unlike our lovely fellows closer to home. He has led me to a spot where a few cats are lounging about. Why do you say we try out your catalogue now, Duhard? He, start, he stoops down and picks up one of the animals, a disgruntled-looking cat who was sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. The cat lets out a displaced mule, mule, but it doesn't struggle, his large body billowing uh, with long orange fur just sort of hanging in the professor's arms in lazy uh, resignation. Would you like to have a go at scanning this delightful chap? I find the on switch and somewhat timidly activate it. 
The gadget immediately comes to artificial life, emitting a boop, 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 boop sound with a red pulsating light. I select the app labeled Cat Scan and load it instant, and it loads instantly. There's no delay on this thing. The professor holds the cat towards me with an ar- with arms outstretched. I'm sure he said the scanning chip is implanted in the back of the neck somewhere, but it's difficult to find this one's neck amidst the thick cloud of fur. I, b- I blow to make a part. I blow to make a parting and press the catalog into its skin. Uh, to his skin, it's a bit like scanning groceries in the supermarket where I used to work. God, it's so me. Fuck, why is this game reading my life? Uh, that should do it. And he plops the marmalade tom back into the sa- into the shade. Sure enough, upon withdrawal, I find the cat has been successfully scanned. Fluffy butt. Fluffy butt. Fluffy butt. Mew. Fluffy butt. Name, Fluffy butt. Gender, male. Age, 10 years, 4 months. Breed, red tabby Persian. Eye color, red. Aww. Oh, this cutie pie. Amazing! Graver, isn't it? The large part of your job here will be to tag and scan the cats such as Mr. Bluebound here. But it looks like you'll have no problem at all in that area. Excellent work, your heart. Uh, thank you, sir. I uh, can't wait to get started. Well, why don't you get a bit more practice with the catalog and scan the rest of them while we're here? These five spend a lot of time together. They're like a little family, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. The rest just seems uh, to be a genuine cat lover, like me. Hey! I think we're uh, going to get on great. Okay, here goes. No help this time. I actually need to see... Okay, my, 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 my uh, stats remain unchanged. So, figured, figured it wouldn't change anything, but just, just checking. The professor steps back. The first cat I approach is very friendly with beautiful calico markings. It comes towards me, already purring. Aww. Trixie. Trixie. Yep, Trixie. Oh, look at this cutie pie. I just want to give you a scratch. Trixie. Named Trixie. Gender female. Age three, eight mo- three years, eight months. Breed calico American uh, short hair. Eye color green. Next is an elegant, sleek, hairless cat sitting gracefully in the sun. She doesn't pay me much attention and allows me to scan her with minimal fuss. <laughs> not, a, not a big fan of, of hairless cats, but uh, the, the art down here is pretty cute. Snooty booty. Oh, that's good. Mewl. Snooty booty. Name, Snooty booty. Gender, female, age 11 and one uh, month, so she's, she's an old lady. Breed Sphinx, eye color blue. The fourth cat approaches uh, is a nosy one. Aww. McMurphy. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, McMurphy. Name McMurphy, gender male, age six, breed brown, uh, crossbreed, eye color green. And finally, the one I've deliberately put off until last. He's been sulking around the edges of the activity, eyeing me suspiciously as though he could pounce at any moment. I laugh at myself, already projecting personalities onto these animals. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) Kibbles. Oh, man. Hiss. Kibbles. Name Kibbles. Gender male, age three, breed white British long hair, eye color green. All done. I hope you enjoy meeting some of the locals. The professor lets out a little laugh. I have a feeling you'll get to know them quite well in time. That's probably enough for your first day, don't you think? It's quite a lot to take in. I am suddenly exhausted and grateful to be heading back to camp. Saving. Uh, it's quite late by the time I arrive on patch and settled myself, but I want to write uh, my journal entry before I sleep. I'm surprised by how chilly it is. 
I pulled my sleeping bag right up to my chin, but I still feel goose pimples blossom over my arms. Shivering, I run, I rub at them to warm myself up. It makes me smile to think that this inherited reaction to the cold is what will be keeping my new feline and friends warm tonight. My, eyelid clo my eyelids close, thinking of cats and the island and Professor. The world around me drifts away as I float into a dream. Up into a dream. What the fuck is up with the little staticky stuff? That keeps happening. It's weirding me out, man. I'm not sure how long I've been asleep, but I wake with a violent jolt that leaves me sitting bolt upright. It's too dark to see anything, but I hear rustling, and then a strange electronic noise. One that in my sleep, uh, sleepy confusion I can't place right away. Boop, boop, boop. Oh shit, it's fucking aliens. It's the, the catalog! Hatch on instinct, I scramble to my feet and follow the noise out of my tent. Out of the tent. I look around me, and my fears are confirmed when I catch sight of a pulsing red light getting fainter in the distance of the for in the in the direction of the forest. I snap into action, running as fast as I can. Barefoot, dressed in my pajamas, running at full speed into the forest in the dark of the night. That must be crazy. The, word of, the words of Professor per, Popper are running or ringing in my ears. God, I am falling apart at the seams. I need you to protect it above all else. My legs are trembling beneath me. I stop, feeling my heart beat heavily through my body. I wheeze in and out, my breath billowing in front of uh, me in white puffs. I shouldn't feel like this. Why am I so dizzy? I try and get my breathing in and... Uh, Try to get my bearings and realize I've blundered, uh, pre- Oh, God. Per 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 Perilously close to the danger zone. Wow. Boy, howdy. Boy, jeez. Just not my day. Not my day. Oh, and this- Yeah, not my day in game either. I can make out the shapes of some large animals in front of me before my eyes close and I drop to my knees. That's that's a great sign. Da, 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 da. Of my eyes, the calico cat I scanned yesterday is sitting in front of me. She drops the catalog at my feet. Aw, oh, you good kitty. You good kitty. I like you. I pass out. I sleep now. Oh, fuck. Flu Fluvy butt. Okay, so the cats are, are talking now. Hello, can you hear me? Are you okay? What is it? Don't be ridiculous, Kibble, it's a human. Oh, yeah, yuck. I can smell it now. It smells like a human. Oh, do be quiet. Hey, uh, are they alive? Of course it's alive. It's breathing, you imbecile. Why wasn't it moving? Well, uh, would you come on and give them some space? Move back a bit. Yes, yeah, stand back. Move out of my way. Let me have a proper look. Yeah, come up. I gotta come up with better voices for these cats because they're all saying exactly the goddamn same. <laughs> I begin to come to. The Sphinx cat is standing over me, and I open my eyes. We stare at each other for a moment while I try and uh, while I try to take in what's happening. Is this one defective? Oh, I feel sick. I'm gonna puke. The cats watch me intently. Am I going insane? Ouch! My head! Why is it chattering about? They're scared and confused. Let me talk to them. Um, human? Are you alright? You! I remember you! You took my catalog! Oh, but I gave it back to you? It's back in your pocket now! I try and reach to my pocket and realize my hands are scratched to shreds. 
Oh, you fuckers! Ow, 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 ow. What's wrong with my hands? I tried to stand. Oh, <laughs> my feet! What happened to me? Yeah, um, I, I guess that's from all the climbing. I. Are you gonna uh, come with some voices? Alright. Uh, I told you it wasn't ready for that. What's that ready for? What? It's not. <clears throat> it's an automatic structure as far to. It's automate. It's auto. Fuck it. Anatomical structure is far too delicate. Ah, oh, try to slow it down. Yeah, Fluth. You try to stay a human who's that determined. Who's a. Who's a, like a merry guy? His anatomical structure didn't seem that delicate to me. I was. like. Hey, what? Doing what? You made your way back to the beach. Okay, but that doesn't explain. I show my bleeding hands. Ah, you, uh, crawled Kara. You... Wait, you crawled? Ka Kara? Who's Kara? That's not my name. It's a term of... Oh, it's a term of endearment. It's an Irish thing. Oh my god, it's... He's it's Irish. Oh, it's a term of... Oh, but that's a... Why <laughs> do Irish voice Australian? Oh my god. I literally can't think of a fucking Irish accent now. What is wrong with my brain? Oh, it's a term of endearment. It's an Irish thing. It's in a... It's inappropriate. Wait. I crawled? You sure did. Like a cat. Yep. All the way from the mountains. Like a bleeding mountain lo Oh my god, it's lit. I'm so sorry to Australia, New Zealand, and Ireland because I'm gonna fuck all of this up so bad. Alright, anyway. Lo oh, fuck it, whatever, I'm just going back to Australia. Fuck it. Like a bleeding mountain lion, impressive. But why? Because you got sick, you got the sickness. Sure, sure. Uh, maybe you should sit down, human. We need to have a talk, possibly a long talk. Talk! Yes, that's right. Since when can cats talk? Oh, for goodness sake, since the dawn of time, how else do you think we can communicate? Ah, stop splitting whiskers, Major. You know full well what the human's saying. I think the real the revelation here, Kara, is that you can understand this. Yes, that too. Well, someone explain, please. Someone please explain what the hell is going on here. Well, we don't fully understand everything ourselves. At least, not all the details of how it works. I think, but I think being stood in a forest surrounded by a bunch of talking cats is about as much detail as anybody's would want. I agree. And more to the point, we were rather hoping you would be able to help us. You are the scientist here after all? What we what we do what do we well blue What we do now is the the clock has started ticking for you. What do you mean? Well, there's no easy way to say this Kara. You'll be catified. I'll be what? Uh, whether you help or not, you don't have a lot of time before... him. if I may... It would seem we are ba uh, we are bashing this on our exper... <clears throat> it would seem we are basing this on our experience today, that when a human mag manages to find themselves in what I believe you call the danger zone, they are vulnerable in ways that they previously were not. That is to say... You're screwed. You're not helping. Don't make me... Yes. Hi, Matt and Lion. There'll be no violence of any kind. There'll be no violence of any kind. Forgive me for being a bit panicked here. 
The vulnerability to which Nutty Booty was referring is simply put, if you are bitten or scratched by, the, by an elder cat within the danger zone, you'll begin the process of change that ultimately will result in full feline transition. This was catified. So basically you're telling me I'm a werecat. I look down and in almost uh, in uh, almost <clears throat> I look down and in amongst the scratches on my right hand are two distinct puncture marks. Oh fuck vampire cats. The reality of my situation descends on me like a cold mist. Basically. Yes. My head is spinning. This is too much uh, for me to take in. Take a breath now, Carter. You're not looking so good. What? I have to... I, have I started to change? I feel my head for ears for everything seems to be normal. Nah. What does make you look a bit shaky, understandably so? I take a few deep, steady breaths and calm myself enough to say... Um, okay, so... Why? How? What? Give me a, uh, give me some data. What have you got so far? Look, look, we're we'll answer anything that we can. But the truth is, we have some we have more questions uh, than answers ourselves. So you said you need my help. What exactly would that entail? Well, finding our friends would be a stat. Cats on the island, they're going missing. We don't know what's happening to them, but the body count is rising. We've hit a wall. A wall of ignorance, maybe. Really, how many times do I have to tell you? The Mueller's are to blame. Mueller's? Now, Flavi Bat, there is no need for name calling. Speaking of name calling, I remind you to call me Major. Madam, holy shit! Why is this all tying back to me so much? Fuck you, game! You don't know me, even though apparently you do. Look, they don't. Look, they can't help the way they are. It's lack of breeding, you know. Overbreeding, if you ask me. Again, Mueller's. The elder. They're elder cats, the island's originals. They can't speak the way we can, hence the derogatory term Mueller's. And how are they to blame exactly? Well, if you knew if I knew that, there would not have been no need for the elaborate kidnapping. It is hardly is hardly providing to be a rousing a roaring success after all. Look at her. All we really know is that we are no, well, that we are no longer safe on this island. The elders who live within the danger zone are hostile towards us. Not sure why it's always just been that way. And now because their cats are being taken, now we're also safe either. Do you expect the occasional mishap? We live in a non-domesticated world here, after all. But lately, cats have been disappearing almost every day. <clears throat> Even the last human we cut we cut his fly weight missing. I'm I'm sorry, what? Let's not open old wounds, kibbles. Yeah. Onwards and upwards, mate. Well, first things first, this wear cat thing. Get a uh, catification. Darn Darnation. Whatever. How does it work? Transition, whatever. I think I misread that previously. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Alright. Time passes. Then you transform into a kit. Yeah. Ugh. It's a gradual process. It's different, it's different for everyone, but you won't just turn overnight. The clock is ticking, however. First side effects of the transition is being able to understand us. Well, some of us. No, not the elders, obviously. Not the domestics either. Then you have, to, then you have to do the whole height and senses thing, the increased agility, the crazy body air stuff. 
Not, let's not worry the human with all the details just yet. I assume there's an antidote? I'm afraid you're getting hit, going to be disappointed in that assumption. Hang on, you said there were someone else you'd put in this position? Well, <clears throat> well, let's hope you're a better bet than they were. Unfortunately, they weren't able to discover an antidote or get our friends back. I know where the notes are, though. Really? Tried. Huh? You help us, and I'll give you the process reports. The progress reports. So what do you say, Carter? So what do you say, Carter? Will you help us? Well, I don't really have much help. Help the kittens? Do not help the kittens. Uh, yeah, I, there, this, this seems like a bad option, so um, let's help the kittens. Not much of a choice, really, is it? Ever, uh, afraid not. Okay, fine. So where do I start? What, is there anything you can tell me that will help me track down your missing friends? Will, will no one listen to sense? Start with the Muellers. They'll eat my hat if it doesn't end. I'll eat my hat if it doesn't end there too. Whispers. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't mind him. He's set in his ways. We have every reason to believe the abductions take place in your part of the island. Yeah, now we're near the danger zone, all the elders. Well, that doesn't make much sense. But I suppose nothing does around this place. My catalog starts beeping. Oh, my alarm! I have to go to work. You, you run along now. We don't want you arousing suspicion with your people. You can meet with us later. Oi, I'll make sure those reports are in your tent before this evening. Thanks, Kara. You're one in a million. I imagine the odds are far greater than that, given your new health status. Go. A and thanks from all of us. And if this is a save, yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut after this. So um, this has been a fucking trip and a half. I I was expecting like, you know, some silly bullshit uh, dating game where it'd be like, oh, you know. You know, you get you go in the thing. It's like, oh, it's like Hotful Boyfriend, where where you're dating silly animals, and I guess it actually did turn into something like Hotful Boyfriend, where it turns out there's a lot more going on under the surface than dating cute animals. Now, Hotful Boyfriend's so fucking good. I, I seriously want to go through it at some point, and, like get the actual proper like full ending, because me, me and um, me and Soundspeed over a uh, Christmas break at one point, like when we were hanging out in person, did like. Literally over the course of like a day, went through the entire game, like true ending and all. Anyway, anyway, I'll um. Okay, yeah, I I don't know whether or not I'll continue this uh, this this into a full LP or or not. Um, I like I said, I have some other things I want to do as well, but uh, I'll admit this game has definitely caught my interest. So uh, I'll definitely be playing it on my own and um, I know if people if people like this and want to see more of it, I'll I might do more of it. If not, then I'll definitely just move on to the next thing. And we'll be back with Let's Roleplay hopefully next week. So, uh, till then, talk to you soon.